Uh, hello, Saints. I'm here to talk about the latest, uh, latest situation with Mr. Andrew Caldwell. Uh, Kojic, I think it's time for you to step in. Y'all have created a monster, and y'all have released your monster onto the rest of the world. That I'll take any responsibility. Now, you want Andrew delivered? He's been, he's been five years in. He's still delivered. So this is uh, what you wanted, right? So I think you, if you're going to create create something like this, a man who acts like a woman who says they're straight, if if that's what you want, listen. You have to take care of your monster. It's like Frankenstein creating a monster and then just sending it out, out to the village to kill everybody. You got to take responsibility for your, what you created. Coach, you created Andrew Caldwell. You took a young boy who was already confused in his identity and you confused it and mixed it up more when you threw all this religion on top of it. So now Andrew is in having police contact on a regular basis. Uh, what I run into today, this was reported by uh, the Hater Maker. So I don't think Hater Maker makes, uh, usually does like current news, the things that happen right now, but it, I get the impression that this just happened. Right? So they show Andrew in this, um, looks like a hotel, like a motel, something. A motel probably in not such a good neighborhood because they're, 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 the cashier is hidden behind plexiglass. You have to slide your click keys under the plexiglass as well as any monies to be transferred, right? Andrew was in this lobby. Now, it's not clear as to whether he was in the, he was staying in the hotel or was he just using the ATM? She says he comes in toward the ATM. So he's been there before. Whatever. Him and this young girl, this young black girl have gotten into it, right? Andrew has got, you know, got his hands on his hips. I mean, just like a woman. He's uh, letting her have it. Like, you know. <laughs> and then he gets so frustrated that he leaves the, the hotel, right? He goes in the hotel, and moments later, the, the girl, the young girl, is taking pictures of him in this uh, uh, tirade he's in. She's photographing with her phone, right? She photographs him going all the way out into the parking lot. I don't know what happens in the parking lot. Someone said he was talking to a security guard. That was the hater maker's uh, interpretation of what was going on. Anyway, soon after that, I don't know why the security guard would let him come back into the lobby, but he comes back into the lobby. He tried to kick through the door where this girl is behind the plexiglass, right? See, I, I saw worry about these crazy people. Andrew could be killed out there or loose in the world. Anyway, so the girl holds the door closed. He can't get in. So Andrew leaves the hotel again, and he comes back with a bag of garbage. Apparently, a trash can was sitting near the door and sprinkles the trash all around the lobby. Wasn't Andrew just in a police altercation last week? Didn't I see, I uh, think, uh, on uh, Heathen Central where Andrew had went into some laundromat or something and somebody had pulled out a gun and started threatening to shoot him because he's so arrogant. See, somebody needs to be in charge of Andrew because, okay, so that happened, that was a week or two weeks ago, let's say. Another encounter with the police because somebody apparently spit on him I think the reason why people are spitting on him and pinning him and punching him and all that because he's so arrogant. Andrew is a very arrogant child. I mean, to consider, you know, his stature, his looks, his mental capacity, he is extremely arrogant. So all of his encounters with these with people on the street, they seem to end up bad. Either somebody gets spit on, somebody gets punched, he ends up running, the police are called. It's a disaster. So, Kojic, what do you say to these things? You have one of your members out in the street acting a, a damn fool. Just how long is it going to take for one of these uh, renegade police to walk up on Andrew in one under his manic states and blow his damn brains out? Because they don't understand what is going on with him or why he's trying to kick through a door of a security glass, why he's trying to kick it in on a woman. They may not understand that, and they may misinterpret that, and they might blow his brains out. Kojic, you're going to have to step in here. I'm sorry, honey. 
the family is apparently of, is, is of no use because when he uh, is in his latest altercation, his mother's right there. His mother's there and some other family members, some cousins are all right there. And they cannot shut him up. Andrew is like the, uh, uh, the one lording over the whole situation. He's doing all the talking. So they can't help him. They're not, they, they don't have the capacity to help him. Maybe this is probably uh, why he is in, in such a mental state because no one's been able to help him. So Kojic, you wanted to deliver him. You brought him up in front of us. You say, okay, you are delivered. And he took it to heart. Now you got to say, Andrew has taken it to heart. <clears throat> Unless he was meeting somebody in that hotel. So I don't know if, if he was uh, having a little rendezvous in that hotel. Now that, that would uh, uh, throw it all to hell, right? But in theory, he's still delivered. He walks like a woman, acts like a woman, dresses like a woman. Does everything a woman. He's arrogant like an arrogant woman. He even goes off like a woman. But he says he's straight. So this is what you guys have done. Taking this mentally disturbed boy, confused him even more than he was confused, perhaps dried up his sex life, no doubt about that, since he just touched a woman one time and had to make a video about it. And then you just leave him out there for the rest of us to, to uh, endure. <laughs> Coach, I hold you responsible. After you do your deliveries, I think you should follow up on these people. Find out what's wrong with Andrew. Granted, he, he went viral, but that doesn't explain why we're still talking about Andrew Caldwell. Now, that's an amazing thing. There's something in that personality that holds people's interest. Whatever it is, this uh, between you, Kojic, and the internet, y'all have created a monster. Social media, they said he has huge numbers. <laughs> totally out of control. That boy has got more police contact than I had when I was a drug addict. Every two weeks, he seems like he's, he's encountering cops or people who want to beat him up or spit on him. And I think it has a lot to do with that arrogant attitude. Since there's no one in his house that can control him, that was made obvious in this last adventure. Perhaps someone should check on him and try to get him some help before he gets runs into the wrong one. Runs into the wrong one, they ain't gonna give him no love tap. Or he encounters a rogue police officer or someone who misinterprets the situation. This boy, he can't go on like this. So, Kojic, we're calling on you, public at large, to take care of your beasts. You created them. This is what you think is delivered. We've seen a few of your examples of these delivered people. He's a woman. <laughs> Andrew's a woman. He scrambled his mind even more than it was scrambled before. I doubt that Andrew was this arrogant before the, all this uh, internet stuff. Before y'all drug him up there, I don't think he he couldn't have had the nerve to be this arrogant. In his mind, he I guess he feels like he's a star. <laughs> Come on, Kojic. Check on your boy. <laughs> 